डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक जय हिंद एंड वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग सी डियर स्टूडेंट एज यू ऑल नो वी हैव स्टार्टेड चैप्टर नंबर सेवन दैट इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग सेप्स एंड आई टोल यू in our lecture number 1 that in this particular chapter we are going to target concept of quadrilaterals only types of quadrilaterals in lecture number 1 you got a basic idea regarding quadrilateral how to name quadrilateral either anti clockwise or clockwise how to name pairs of adjacent side opposite side diagonal adjacent angle opposite angle that has been explained to you at the same time you are also given one idea of one of the most important property of quadrilateral which we call angle sum property where i explain that the sum of measures of all the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 dear student before we move because there are some such word because till 7th standard you may be adopting the different books in maths some of the student uh, are from our primary school but some of the student may be from other schools where different books of mathematics are adopted now one more thing has to make it very clear suddenly when you come across a new word which i suppose theorem it is very difficult to first understand what is actually theorem no doubt when you go in ninth standard you will have to understand some basic concepts of geometry where you will definitely get an idea regarding what is theorem just now there is no need to go in basic concept details of ninth standard but at least you should know what does what is actually the meaning of theorem understand in lecture number 2 today first we need to understand what is meaning of theorem first then they, we will definitely going to prove one theorem but first you should understand what is actually a theorem dear student try to understand what is the actual meaning of theorem to so understood in geometry you come across few chapters of geometry in previous standard you got idea about some of the definitions understand like line line segment quadrilateral triangle okay circle uh, so you come across many definitions okay so at the same time you may come across some of the terms which which cannot be defined meaning can be understood point point cannot be defined meaning is understood 
राइट तो इन ज्योमेट्री मेक वन थिंग वेरी क्लियर एस फार एस ज्योमेट्री इज कंसर्न देर आर सम पर्टिक्युलर स्टेटमेंट्स एंड दोज ज्योमेट्रिकल स्टेटमेंट्स रिक्वायर टू बी प्रूव्ड एंड व्हेन यू ट्राई टू प्रूव एनी ज्योमेट्रिक स्टेटमेंट इट इज कॉल्ड अ थियरम मीनिंग इज क्लियर इन योर माइंड व्हाट इज एक्चुअली थियरम तो एनी ज्योमेट्रिकल मीन्स एनी मैथमेटिकल स्टेटमेंट विच नीड्स अ प्रूफ यू हैव टू प्रूव इट दैट इज एक्चुअली नोन एज थियरम सो थियरम आर अल्टीमेटली दोज ज्योमेट्रिक स्टेटमेंट विच needs a proof understood just now we are going to understand an important theorem which we actually when i explain you the property we have already accepted that the sum of measures of all angles of a quadrilateral is 360 that we accepted but that particular angle sum property which explains that the sum of measures of all angles of a quadrilateral becomes 360 that needs a proof understand uh, i at that time i told you that at your home in your book you draw any quadrilateral any you are able to uh, draw any quadrilateral you measure all uh, all angles you sum up them it is going to be 360 but that's that is a practical way of understanding if you want to prove theoretically understand utilizing one concept that the sum of measures of all angles of a triangle is 180 that also dear student we are just now accepting that the sum of all angle of a triangle is 180 that is also one theorem which you are going to prove in ninth standard understood just now we will accept that fact that all three angles of a triangle sum up to 180 okay let us prove today theorem 1 okay i think the meaning of theorem must be clear in your mind what is theorem any geometrical statement which needs to be proved that is called theorem okay theorem 1 let me write the statement of this understand what is theorem 1 prove that prove that the sum of measures of the sum of measures of all angles all means four angle that you know all angles of a quadrilateral all angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree this is what 
we are going to prove mind one very important thing if i ask in test or in exam i am not going to write this theorem one i am going to give you this statement only prove that the sum of measures of all angles of a quadrilateral is 360 i am just going to give you only this nothing else by utilizing this statement and taking some supposition you have to prove this particular statement so in exam i will give only this prove that the sum of measures of all angles of a quadrilateral is 360 now for proving this at least let us accept any one quadrilateral by name that is a uh, customary we you can take any quadrilateral not which i take may you take quadrilateral abcd may you take quadrilateral mnop xyzw pqrs whatever quadrilateral you want to label you can understand it is not to be specific that you name the quadrilateral which i have taken you can take any quadrilateral that has very very clear in your mind understand suppose dear student let us try to prove this theorem 1 understood and for that purpose one quadrilateral we have to suppose means one quadrilateral has to be given in data you have to take any one quadrilateral suppose dear student i draw one quadrilateral that also you have to do understand in solving such example suppose draw with me one quadrilateral okay this is the quadrilateral we have drawn now in this this is quadrilateral let us name this quadrilateral either clockwise or anti clockwise that's your choice so my dear student we are in data given one quadrilateral which is that we have accepted it quadrilateral abcd so dear student when you want to prove any theorem first need to write given okay given which can also be sometime called data what is given to you now write symbolically what is given to you you are given quadrilateral abcd okay so this is actually a part of theorem when you try to prove any theorem any geometric statement you have to suppose sometime if uh, they have already given a label statement then to from that statement only you can get the given data here there was no mention of any particular quadrilateral that's why we have taken quadrilateral abcd that is called the given or data now what you have to prove that sum of measures of all angles of quadrilateral abcd is 360 
let us write what you want to prove that is called actually to prove what you want can you tell me you want to prove that angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d equal to 360 degree this is what you have to prove so dear student first you learn to understand whenever you want to prove any theorem first you have to write this two things that is data and to prove actually you will understand no doubt when you go in ninth standard that a theorem has three parts first data second to prove data means whatever information you are given to prove means by utilizing that given information what you want to prove and then now let us move for proof okay so theorem has got can you tell me how many parts three parts which are those three parts given or is called data this is first part of the theorem second part to prove and the third part of the theorem is proof so just try to understand a theorem has three parts data to prove and proof it has got three data to prove and proof okay now dear student this is what you have to prove that the sum of all four angles is 360 that is what you have to prove can you move in proving this particular theorem how can we do it okay so that purpose dear student we have to understand and we are accepting just now that sum of all angle of triangle is 180 which also we are accepting only now you will prove it in ninth standard understand so suppose i want to utilize that concept of sum of all angles of a triangle is 180 to prove this let me construct two triangle here by joining diagonal ac need to look at this by joining diagonal ac quadrilateral abcd is divided into two angles this first triangle understood L uh, because angle a is divided into two angles let us name them let me call this angle 1 and let me call this angle 2 because angle c is divided into two parts okay so let me call this as angle 3 and this as angle 4 okay you understood this just to mention the name only understood nothing else is it clear okay because by joining the diagonal you constructed 
टू ट्राइंगल्स हियर वन इज ट्राइंगल ए बी सी वन इज ट्राइंगल ए डी सी नाउ डियर स्टूडेंट यू ऑल नो वेरी वेल दैट सम ऑफ थ्री एंगल्स ऑफ ए ट्राइंगल इज वन एटी नाउ लेटस राइट द प्रूफ हाउ वी कंस्ट्रक्टेड टू ट्राइंगल बाय ड्रॉइंग डायगोनल तो यू हैव टू राइट इन प्रूफ ड्रॉ डायगोनल ए सी एंड नोट डाउन द प्रूफ बिकॉज इन एग्जाम I want the proof in the same way. Understand? Draw diagonal AC and construct. Can you name triangle ABC and triangle ADC? Okay. Is it clear in your? proof we starting the proof draw diagonal ac and construct two triangles one is triangle abc one is triangle adc now dear student triangle abc can you name the three angles here in triangle abc angle b angle 1 and angle 4 these are the three angle in triangle abc whose addition is going to be 180 can you understood the three angles can you speak angle b angle 1 angle for okay let us uh, write it okay in this is the way you have to write in triangle abc in triangle abc let us write angle 1 plus angle 4 plus angle b equals to 180 degree result number 1 you will know the all three angles of a triangle sum up to 180 can you name three angles here let me mention in triangle adc can you mention angle 2 angle 3 and angle d their addition is also going to be 180 so do i mention the name again angle 2 angle 3 and angle d let us write it in triangle mention the name of triangle in triangle adc angle 2 plus angle plus angle d equal to 180 degree result number 2 so dear student if you want to prove this theorem first you have to derive two results 
first concerning triangle ABC and second concerning triangle ADC okay so first we got it now dear student we are going to add both the results so what you will write adding adding results and two let us add both the results results one and result two dear student how to add the results you have to add left hand side to left hand side right hand side to right hand side so let see what i am writing just try to understand i am writing it here angle one plus angle two plus angle b plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle D equal to 180 plus 180 360 why I have I am writing intentionally 1 2 and 3 4 because that you will understand just now okay first we derive both the results after after deriving result number one and two we are adding both the results one plus two then I took one angle angle B plus three plus four then angle D now dear student be watchful I am underlining this too can you say me see angle 1 plus angle 2 means it is angle A you understood this so let us here angle A angle B as it is again mark it here see angle 3 plus angle 4 means angle C plus D equal to 360 see my dear student this is what you want and it has been proven in this particular theorem just be watchful theorem are no doubt as a student of 8th standard a little difficult to understand okay because the concept of theorem actually as we are adopting the Prachi textbook actually the basics of the geometry understand regarding theorem postulate undefined term defined term starts basics of geometry in fact in ninth standard okay but here also in eighth standard you have to understand those concepts which you may learn <coughs> higher standard okay so this theorem has been proved okay first you have a look at this and dear student in exam when you are asked through that the sum of measures of all angles of a quadrilateral is 360 this is what you have to write word to word nothing else understood huh if you want to name the change of quadrilateral do it that's okay understand but conceptually you have to move as per this okay 
so this is theorem just uh, have a look at the theorem first verify it and then we will solve examples based on on based on this theorem this concept has to be very clear in your mind understand that the sum of all four angles of a quadrilateral is 60 okay and just have a look at this whenever dear student make one thing very clear whenever we solve any example i will first write it here uh, and then you will also write with me but one more thing when we write any statement here and you also write uh, in your book one thing very clear is that if quadrilateral means the name of quadrilateral is not mentioned in the example we will select standardize as quadrilateral a b c d okay let us solve some of the difficult examples okay based on this concept of theorem 1 that is the sum of all four angles of a quadrilateral is 360 okay let us solve some of the examples okay based on this concept let us solve it example i will just write on the board you also write with me and then we will try to solve these examples okay let us write first example okay let me write we are first taking some simple examples see write with me the measures of the measures of three angles measures of three angles of a the measures of three angles of a quadrilateral measures of three angles of a quadrilateral are 60 degree 70 degree and 120 degree then find find fourth angle okay then find fourth angle suppose this is the statement we are given first you read the statement before we move in actual method of solving this example okay first you need to read it what is given the uh, measures of three angles of a quadrilateral are degree 70 degree and 120 degree then find the measure of fourth angle that is the statement and as i told you whenever there is no mention of 
name of the quadrilateral we have to accept okay so dear student no need for the diagram in such example but at least you son the name of the quadrilateral understand so this way you can start your sum let in quadrilateral a b c d this is the way you can start latin quadrilateral a b c d angle a let us accept is 60 degree angle b 70 degree angle c 120 degree angle d it's a question mark because we have to find the fourth angle angle d we have to find three angle has been mentioned here now dear student how will you write so you have to write this way angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d equals to 360 degree you don't write when you sample okay just write in data and you write in final answer in between don't write degree okay this is 60 Plus seventy, plus one twenty, plus d equal to three sixty. Okay, sixty plus seventy one thirty, plus one twenty. That is already just try to understand one thirty plus one twenty two fifty. Okay, plus d equals to three sixty. First, you understand this step properly. We have written angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D equal to three sixty. 60 plus 70 plus 120 plus d equal to 360. You add all three angle that turns out to be 250 plus d equals to 360. Now it's just a question of transferring. Well, d equal to 360 minus 250. So therefore, angle D. Understand is equal to just you subtract it. Okay, so fifty plus sixty it is going to be hundred and ten. After you get the answer, then you can write the degree. Therefore, angle D equal to hundred and ten degree. very simple example okay that we have solved is it clear this uh, and whenever the name of the quadrilateral hasn't been mentioned we will select a b c d as standard to maintain the uniformity understand in uh, uh, a, a solution of example by all students so that associate feel it uh, easy to solve it so please it's a request that whenever the name of quadrilateral i don't mention please take it as a b c d so that associate feels it easy to check the sum you understood this okay is it clear right let us take another example okay the first one has been 
clear in your mind let us take one another example okay like as usual you also write the example with me let us take example number 2 okay let us take it just start writing example number 2 it is given this way the write with me the measures of measures of two angles two angles of a quadrilateral measures of two angles of a quadrilateral are are 105 degree and 45 degree okay measures of two angles of a quadrilateral are 105 degree and 45 degree the remaining remaining two angles are equal remaining two angles are equal then find these angles okay first you read at the sum just to gather the data in your mind just gather it what they are asking you are already given the measures of two angles and rest of the two angles are called equal okay so how to move in this as i told you dear student when not mention we will always take let in quadrilateral a b c d okay i will you write angle a let us say 105 degree degree you write in data and final answer in between no need to write angle b i have taken as 45 remaining two angle are angle c and angle d let us take them as x degree because we don't know but both the angle are equal that we know understand okay data has been represented a b c and d let us try to solve right angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d equal to 360 okay let us substitute 105 plus 5 plus x plus x equal to 360 okay therefore add this both 150 plus x plus x that is 2x equal to 360 let us 
transfer I have written 2x here is equal to 3 minus 150 2x equal <coughs> just subtract 360 understand minus 150 that is 210 therefore x equal to 210 upon 2 just cancel it 105 okay so you got the value of x as 105 it means you got both the angle angle C as well as angle D because both the angle you supposed as 105 so how will you write I, I, I'm not writing it here I'm writing here you just continue okay therefore angle C equal to 105 degree and angle D equal to 105 degree is it clear in your mind so this way also the different types of example are going to come across you and that this is the way you can solve any example sometime I have seen student doing this way also and some of the student are also sending me suppose I have explained any one example in some one way then some of the student I have seen that sent me a solution through WhatsApp and were asking whether it will do and I also has replied okay that means dear student doesn't mean that stick to anything in mathematics understand suppose some student I have seen even last year they were not supposing as X understand what they were doing they were writing here angle C here also angle C so instead of X they were writing two angle C angle C angle C angle C and then angle C and angle D they were not supposing both the angle as X they were replacing D by C or C by D and then they were, they were getting one angle so this way also works understand remember one thing very very clearly in your mind that in mathematics the faculty which explains to you our basic concept and generalized method so that every student of different level can catch and understand but if you have if you have different way of solving any example it is most welcome understand right so that way also dear student you can adopt some other way also to solve this particular example and if any will solve that way I would appreciate their effort and they should send me in WhatsApp so that I can verify your uh, your agileness in solving any particular example okay dear student we will meet in next lecture with some more example based on the concept of sum of all four angle of a quadrilateral is 360 we'll meet in next lecture and we will solve some more examples regarding this okay so for today's lecture make one thing very clear you should know what is theorem you should understand the meaning of theorem we have already explained you theorem in theorem do not try to change any statement please follow this okay but in example you may have a different method this is most welcome on your part okay dear students so 
in today's lecture we got some idea about that theorem and at the same time we also got idea about two examples which we have solved just now later on in this uh, particular chapter in next lecture we are going to solve some more examples okay so dear student thank you very much